Coventry? London? Devonshire. Devonshire. That's a friendly sounding name. Startled me, old boy. I'm sorry, sir, but why are you booing? You'll have to excuse me, Sonny. I can't stop to chat with you right now. I must continue my booing chores. Boo! 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 Oh, boo! How about a spot of tea? That would be very nice. It's been beastly lonely here the last hundred years. Then why do you stay? Well, there must always be a Montague in this castle. And until one of my descendants comes here to live, I must stay and haunt this old place. Gee, Sir Montague, maybe I could find one of your descendants. Bully, Casper, bully! I hope you can find one, old boy. Sir, is your name Montague? Pardon me, but is your name Montague? By Jove! A ghost! <laughs> Excuse me, but are any of you named Montague? Blimey! A ghost! <laughs> someone named Montague? I'll try. Montague. Hmm. What's the first name? Gosh, I don't know. Hootman! A ghost! <laughs> Gee whiz. I'm not having any luck at all. Londonderry Offnage. Maybe there's a Montague in there. The children name a ghost. Oh, gosh, I give up. Oh boy, a Montague at last! Casper, you did it. I'm free at last.
won't believe all those silly stories about us. Oh, a real ghost! Gee, looks like that should sure make it hard for me to find a friend. play football. Oh, boy! Would you, Casper? Now, the quarterback calls for the ball to be passed to the fullback, who laterals to the right halfback as the opposing team is held on the line of scrimmage, while the left halfback tries to block the opposing right guard as the opposite left end comes in on the play. Now, how would you play that, Billy? as we go along. Okay, Casper, throw the ball. Here's a forward pass, Billy.
the whole wide world. Yeah, betcha. Hi, fellas. Mind if I join in the fun? when they see me. Wish me luck, Billy. I'm going to the skating races. Can I skate in the races too, Johnny? Huh, Johnny? Huh? Now, you know you can't skate, Billy. You better stay here and play with your snowman. some assistance. Did you say something, Snowman? I most certainly did. Golly! You're a real life Snowman! And I think I can teach you how to skate. You can? Sure enough. Now the first thing we have to do is find you a pair of ice skates. Billy, and do just as I do. Okay, Mr. Snowman. Left, right, left, right, that's fine. Keep going, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Billy! What happened, Mr. Snowman? <laughs> I guess we just ran out of ice. show you what to do. That's it, Billy. Keep it up. You're doing swell. the Silver Skates Trophy. Gee, thanks! And bless Mommy, and Daddy, and Johnny, and Mr. Snowman.
get to bed early for a change. <laughs> I thought this was too good to be true. Aren't you boys starting a little early tonight? We have a big scare raid coming up. We need some extra practice. If I can't sleep in peace here, I'll find a place where I can. That distant mountain looks just right. Golly, listen to all those snores. That explains it. It's Bear Mountain, and all the bears are hibernating. All these snoozing sounds are making me sleepier than ever. Now, where can I sleep? No snoring in this cave. I wonder if it's empty. I'm in luck. It's empty, and with a good warm blanket, too. Oh, what's the use? I may as well go back and try sleeping again. That does it. Now someone has taken over my cave. And my blanket, too. Enough is enough! A ghost! Where am I? You're in my cave, sleeping under my blanket, Mr. Ghost. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Bear. I thought the cave was empty. Uh, uh, then you're not here to haunt my nights? I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and I never haunt anyone. That's a relief. I've got enough trouble. Would you like to tell me about it? It sometimes helps to unbear your troubles. Oh, Casper. <laughs> I can't sleep. And it's so lonely with all the other bears asleep, too. I know just the sleep doctor who can cure your trouble. Sleep doctor? The Sandman. He'll know how to make you sleep. The Sandman? Uh, do you really know him, Casper? Sure. He's one of my best friends. Gee, that's funny. I thought he was only a fairy tale. He's for real, all right. You just wait here. I hope the Sandman isn't asleep when I get there. I hate to bother him. He looks like he's busy on a big project. I know. I'll become invisible until he's through. <laughs> a big project? Sand castles. <laughs> uh, who's that? Who do these things? The place is haunted. Gosh, I forgot I'm invisible. No wonder he was frightened. I'm sorry, Mr. Sandman. It's me. Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> oh, Casper? I should have known. Say, what brings you here at an hour when all the good little boys should be there to sleep? Well, it's a sleep problem of a friend of mine. Here's the Sandman, just as I promised. Uh, 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 hiya, Doc. What do we do? Well, we just sit and wait for the sand to take effect. I might as well let them sleep. I've always been a good bear. Why should this thing happen to me? <laughs> Everyone's asleep but me. Gosh, the sand worked on us but not on him. I feel just awful about this. Oh, this air mattress is terrific, Doc. Good, and now to get the work. <laughs> Sheep? Yes, now you start counting them until you fall asleep. Okay, Casper, you know what to do. Follow me, girls. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bear. A one, a two, a three, four, Five, uh oh, six, Mr. Sandman, seven, do you see what I see? Eight, Mutton nine, chops ten, and lamb stew. Eleven, twelve. Mr. Bear, I'm ashamed of you, especially when the sheep are here to help you. I'm sorry, Doc, but I'm as hungry as a bear. What do we do now? I don't know, Casper. Let's just go outside and think about it. <laughs> this has never happened to me before. It's not your fault, Mr. Sandman. You did your best. Say, it's real quiet. The storming has stopped. That means the hibernation season has ended. Now Mr. Bear can join the others. Gee, now he's asleep. Then I didn't fail him after all. 
come Kath, but let's not disturb him. You know what I discovered? It was the snoring of the other bears that kept me awake. Good night. Ghost hookup. Ghostess is wanted for nightclub. Ghostmaster wanted to spook at banquets. Gee, I hope there's a job for me. Pardon me, my name is Casper. Do you have a job for a friendly ghost? A friendly ghost? <laughs> a friendly ghost? <laughs> somewhere else. Come on, Pork Chop. Let's have that old cave ball. Hiya, felon. Can I pray with you? Huh? Can I? It's Skunky. Philly. Scram. Go ahead. Beat it. Yeah. You squirted the fresh air. Gee, nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> Let's go, fellas. Play ball. Can I play with you? Gee, nobody wants to be my friend. Life ain't worth living without a friend. Me. 
for us. But why? He said he was tired of it. I can't believe that. Ah, oh, come on. Hop in and take a ride. I just hope you fellas didn't do anything wrong. What a worry, Ward. We'll go find a guy. There he is now. He said his name is Big Bill. You mean you took this car from that poor man? Poor? He's a billionaire. Pardon me, sir. Are you really a billionaire? Gee, that's rich. First three guys dressed in a sheet, and now a kid in a pillowcase. Did you give them that beautiful car? <laughs> of course. Everybody knows I love to laugh. These clowns dressed up for me and gave me a laugh, so I gave them the car. Ha! Huh. You see, Casper? Well, look here, kid. Big Bill doesn't laugh twice at the same joke. That sheet and pillowcase gag is beginning to bore me. Get lost. <laughs> he thinks you're clowns dressed in sheets. Is that so? Listen, Mac, you know who we are? Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah! Boo! Oh, don't. He's been so nice to you. See, that was wonderful. That gave me goosebumps. It's the least bored I've been all day. You're hired. From now on, you follow me around and scare me when I get bored. <laughs> Nothing works twice on me. Now you bore me. You're all fired. Here, buy yourselves an automatic clothes washer. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, you help me. I'm a billionaire. Well, I could try. What do you ghosts do for fun? Well, most ghosts scare people, but I... That's an idea. Let's go scare people. But, but I'm a friendly ghost. Hey, Mac. Boo! Please don't be afraid. A ghost! Yes! Good going, pal. You make it look easy. I'll try one of my own. Boo! Boo yourself. <laughs> You're not really a ghost, you know. Hey, look! A witch on a broom! It's Greedy Gertie, the wicked witch. You call, sir? Listen, Mom, you can have this thousand bucks for a ride on your broom. Anything for money. Hop aboard. Big Bill, don't. Hey, this is fun. Big Bill, don't get in her evil clutches. Tell you what, Gert, I'll give you a million dollars for this broom. Where would you get a million dollars? I have a green thumb when it comes to money. All I have to do is snap my fingers. Abracadabra. Hey, you want to be my husband? No, no, no. I'll give you two million dollars to forget the whole thing. Two million? Imagine! Hey! But wouldn't that be silly? As your wife, I'll be much, much richer. Help! Casper, help! Let him go! Casper, you stay out of this. One peep out of you, and I'll take away your ghostly powers. Don't listen to her, Casper. I'll buy you a million white sheets. Not with our money, you won't. How do you like our honeymoon cottage, sweetie? Casper! Golly, without my ghostly power, I could never help him. Don't go away! <laughs> I mustn't let her see me. I thought I'd never be a giggling bride. Hello, Mother. I've hooked a man. And boy, is he loaded. The wedding will be tomorrow. Yes, I'll be wearing a long black gown with a 50-foot train of cobwebs. <laughs> Big Bill, what are you doing? Making money to buy my way out of this. Money got you into this mess, remember? That's right. If you keep making money, you'll be Greedy Gertie's prisoner forever. What'll I do? I'll think of something. I wish I could get out like that. Try digging at these crumbly stones. Hey, I never thought of that. How can I help? Watch it, Casper. I'm coming through. It's the North Wind. Are you in a hurry, Mr. Wind? No, Casper. I'm ahead of schedule. Why? Would you help me save my friend from Greedy Gertie? Why, sure. What can I do? Oh, you could do some Yes, you could do some She at the wedding, Mother. Casper, I'm free! I borrowed one of her brooms. She 
you'll be a hundred years chasing that money. I'll buy you anything you want, Casper. Just name it. All I want is your friendship. Uh...